How to bounce back up stronger after a hurtful breakup. The pain of a breakup can be incredibly intense, especially when it involves parting ways with someone you envisioned a future with. It's natural to feel deeply disheartened in such circumstances, and many individuals find themselves struggling to cope. However, it's essential to redirect your focus towards larger aspirations in life and provide yourself with numerous chances to rediscover happiness. If you're facing a similar situation, here are some strategies to emerge from a painful breakup with renewed strength and resilience. 1. Be cool. During the initial months post-breakup, it's common to experience feelings of depression and engage in excessive rumination, along with the urge to explain the situation to others. However, rather than dwelling on these aspects, it might be beneficial to refrain from discussing the breakup for a while. Avoid burdening your friends or potential romantic interests with details about your ex's shortcomings, as it could potentially dampen the mood and detract from other conversations. 2. Take some responsibility. Breakups often involve a tendency to assign blame to the other party for the relationship's failures. However, it can be more constructive to begin accepting personal accountability for your role in the situation. While it may be tempting to shift all blame onto the other person, doing so could ultimately hinder your healing process. Therefore, consider taking ownership of your actions, as doing so can foster a more positive outlook and reinforce the belief that the breakup occurred for valid reasons. 3. Don't play the victim card. Experiencing a breakup can indeed evoke feelings of helplessness and sadness, yet it's important not to allow these emotions to diminish your strength. While it's perfectly acceptable to acknowledge and seek support for your feelings of loneliness, prolonged vulnerability can gradually weaken your resilience. Instead, strive to cultivate inner strength and optimism, empowering yourself to embrace the prospect of a brighter future as you move forward. 4. Work on yourself. One of the most detrimental actions you can take following a breakup is to exhaust yourself physically, mentally, and emotionally. While it's important to allow yourself time to grieve, it's equally crucial to eventually regain your footing. Consider focusing on self-improvement and striving to become the best version of yourself. Perhaps this breakup can serve as the catalyst for your personal growth. Channeling these emotions in a positive direction can lead to transformative outcomes. 5. Refocus in your life. Following a breakup, this task may prove to be the most challenging, yet it's essential to address. It's time to reassess your life's priorities. Acknowledge that your relationship has ended and that your ex can no longer hold a place on your list of priorities. Redirect your focus towards pursuing your life goals and nurturing relationships with loved ones. Consider embarking on a rejuvenating journey to reconnect with your inner self. Know all about tolerance versus acceptance in relationships. Tolerance and acceptance are pivotal in any relationship. While you might be willing to tolerate certain behaviors, true harmony is achieved when you can wholeheartedly embrace someone for who they are. Tolerance may imply enduring certain flaws without genuine acceptance, whereas acceptance entails embracing someone unconditionally. The distinction between these concepts is subtle but significant, particularly within the context of relationships. Here are 8 key differences you should be aware of. 1. All are individuals. When entering a relationship, it's essential to acknowledge that your partner is a unique individual with distinct interests and hobbies. Initially, it may be challenging to accommodate someone whose personality differs greatly from yours. However, with time, you may find yourself embracing their uniqueness. If this acceptance doesn't naturally occur, it may be worth considering moving on, as no one should feel compelled to alter themselves for the sake of another. 2. Love them for who they are. When there's nothing about the other person that bothers you, it feels like perfection. This is true acceptance, wholeheartedly embracing their presence without hesitation. It's a natural state that doesn't require much contemplation if you can easily tolerate their quirks. You simply complement each other effortlessly, just as you are. 3. Respecting each other's needs. For a relationship to thrive, it's crucial for partners to develop a deep understanding of each other. 
They must be open-minded about the possibility that their significant other may have friends or companions outside the relationship whom they wish to spend time with. In truth, this dynamic can be quite healthy. One option is to grapple with their emotions, allowing their partner this freedom, which would be an act of tolerance. Alternatively, they can wholeheartedly embrace it, which represents acceptance. That's the fundamental difference between the two approaches. 6. Judging. Consistently passing judgments on your partner can give them the impression that you're merely tolerating their behavior. This conveys a lack of acceptance, prompting them to feel compelled to change aspects of themselves, which isn't conducive to a healthy dynamic. Ultimately, this pattern can severely damage your relationship. 5. Codependency. Codependency often underlies why partners tolerate each other's habits and behaviors. Rather than genuine acceptance, it's more about maintaining the relationship for the sake of the love and attention exchanged. However, codependency can also hinder effective communication, which is essential for fostering a healthy relationship. Addressing this issue is crucial for cultivating a strong and fulfilling partnership. 6. Faults as a relationship progresses, we often find ourselves fully tolerating our partner's flaws and may eventually come to accept them. Mere tolerance of behavior might not prompt the other person to change. However, openly discussing someone's flaws can lead to their wholehearted acceptance without causing harm to either individual in the relationship. 7. Change It's perfectly acceptable to address minor issues in a relationship, as it contributes to the growth of a beautiful bond. However, if someone requests that you alter your fundamental personality or character traits for their sake, it's important not to tolerate such demands. Tolerance can be beneficial when exercised in a healthy manner. 8. Time together. Sharing quality time with your partner becomes all the more enriching when you embrace every aspect of who they are. This embodies the essence of wholehearted acceptance. Conversely, if you discover yourself venting about your partner's behavior to others, it indicates that you're merely tolerating their actions. Such situations can be incredibly frustrating at times. How to deal with a negative spouse? Enduring life alongside a negative individual proves more exasperating than merely tolerating their behavior. Sustaining a relationship with a partner who consistently exhibits negativity can be particularly challenging. It's especially taxing when your partner's initial positivity shifts into negativity. Thus, here are some strategies to effectively manage a spouse with a negative disposition. 1. Never take their negativity personally. It's important to acknowledge that their negativity isn't a reflection of you but rather stems from their internal struggles. Although you may feel its impact as you live alongside them, remember that it's not directed at you personally. You have the power to shield yourself from this negativity and prevent it from affecting you. While living with a consistently negative individual may present challenges, you have the ability to overcome them. 2. Let positivity prevail. As a positive individual, it's essential to cultivate an atmosphere of positivity within your home each day. If your spouse expresses negativity, consider responding with positivity, redirecting their attention towards the good aspects of life. Additionally, prioritize your own happiness and endeavor to provide your partner with reasons to feel joyous as well. 3. Figure out what's really wrong. Instead of immediately criticizing them for their negative behavior, take the time to understand what might be causing it. People don't become negative overnight, there are usually underlying reasons behind their behavior. Have an open conversation with them to uncover what's troubling them, and if they're unwilling to share, try to uncover it on your own. Offering support to help them overcome their negativity can make a significant difference. 4. Listen to them carefully. Be attentive when your spouse confides in you about their experiences. Even if they don't openly express their concerns, they may drop subtle hints. Take the initiative to uncover the root of their issues and extend your support in any way you can. 5. Focus on their positive traits. You've selected them as your life partner, indicating there were undoubtedly positive aspects that drew you to them. Though it may be challenging to recall happy moments during difficult times, reflecting on them can bring genuine joy. 
Rediscovering these memories can offer you a sense of happiness and contentment in the present moment. 6. Create Boundaries Establishing healthy boundaries is essential to shield yourself from the impact of their negativity. Consider setting clear limits that prevent their negative comments or behavior from affecting you. These boundaries will prove beneficial, providing you with the opportunity to spend time alone and cultivate your own positive mindset. 7. Surround yourself with positive people. It's crucial to surround yourself with individuals who radiate positivity and align with your own energy. Being in the company of positive people can help dispel negative energy, uplifting your spirits quickly. Spending quality time with your loved ones can effectively pull you out of the surrounding negativity. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.